Uh, my name is Amanda Miller. I'm a PhD scientist. Right now I'm a postdoctoral fellow, which basically means um, I got my PhD two years ago and I'm still in training, but I hope to be a professor in a couple years. So what is your interest in the field of autonomics? Are you a researcher or would you like to be? Are you a clinician? A little of both. And what diseases or basic science topics do you want to focus on? Okay, that's a lot of questions. The first, so the first one, um, I'm interested in autonomics. I've actually been interested in autonomics for about eight years um, when I was diagnosed with postural tract cardio syndrome. So I have a personal interest in this and I am. I decided to go the research route. So I, after that I gained a PhD in neuroscientist. So I'm clearly a researcher. I do not see patients or do any clinical responsibilities. Was there anything else in that question? Uh, what basic topics would you like to focus on? Um, so I do focus on POTS research. I'm, uh, specifically, I study cognitive impairment, vascular dysfunction, and connections between POTS and comorbidities, especially hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. But I also study autonomics in hypertension and a few other disorders. And you had uh, two posters here this year. Can you tell us a little bit about your research findings? Okay, so my two posters were actually from one study that was funded by Dysautonomia International, and, and we did the study at the 2018 patient conference. Um, the study was called the SCOPE study, which was standing cognition and comorbidities of POTS evaluation. Um, and our two main findings from the study were first that one third of patients with POTS met the criteria for hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, and over half of them had significant joint hypermobility. And then the, the second poster was focused on cognition. And we found that cognitive, uh, cognitive function was impaired in POTS patients when they were standing compared to healthy subjects. And this was an important finding because no one had actually tested patients in the standing posture. Usually when you do neuropsychological evaluations, um, they test people while they're seated. And most of those studies have shown that there's no impairment in POTS patients. And we clearly know that brain fog is real. And it was important to show that when these patients stand up, they have significant uh, deficits in, in uh, cognitive function. That sounds great. Um, and what are some of the hot topics in autonomic research that you think we'll be looking into in the next five years? So there are several that have been brought up in this meeting. Um, I think one of them is going to be the use of electro pharmaceuticals, more um, how to stimulate the nerves, with, such as vagal nerve stimulation. I think that's going to be a very hot topic coming to POTS research soon. Um, another one is the role of the gut microbiome and how that in, interacts with the autonomic nervous system and inflammation. So I think those are two hot topics that I'd like to get into. Excellent. And do you have any closing message that you'd like to share with our online community? Um, I want to thank everyone for donating and supporting POTS research um, and also just inspiring uh, the topics that need to be researched. Uh, I, I get a lot of information from patients that makes me question like why, why hasn't anyone studied what causes this and I, I really like the interaction from our patient group um, as a researcher and thank you for that. Well, thank you too. You inspire us also, so we really appreciate you talking with us today.